All right. So I'll, I'll try to talk through what I'm doing so anybody listening to the podcast <laughs> isn't too sure. lost. Uh, but yeah, when you open the app, uh, the first thing you have to do, of course, is add a car. I've already got several on the list here. Uh, but when you tap into your car, you then see a list of setups. It comes with the kit setup already built in. So you don't really have to have to you know add in all your settings the first time. It's already got all the basic stuff there, so you just need to change whatever you've done to uh, to change it from the kit setup. Um, so I've got a no name setup here. <clears throat> Tap into this. So when you get into a setup, there's three main tabs: the settings, which is you know, what you would what you would think. Um, there's also the track tab where you keep track of you know what track you were at, what the track conditions looked like. And then the results tab where you can record how how the race went, um, whether it was a qualifier or main or lap times. And then at the bottom here also you can uh, just choose from basic handling evaluators. So did I get more corner entry steering or less? Did I get more or less traction in corners? Things like that. So mm-hmm. you can just tap in there. You don't have to write out your notes, you know, in long longhand. You can just mm-hmm. record your uh, race results very quickly and easily. Um, so going back into the settings tab too, <clears throat> so let's click into uh, front suspension. So you can see, let's see, I've got all the typical front suspension choices here, the camber link, the bulkhead, the anti-roll bar. Uh, if you click into one of those, you know, we've got a little diagram to show you what that I- item actually looks like um, and how you measure it. Um, and then we have all the default options. So you can choose from the existing anti-roll bars. You don't have to go try to figure out like, oh, which one is this? What's the part number? You know, we already got all that stuff there. And if, if you want to like buy it or something, we even got a little link for it. Um, and it also shows you what the kit value is. So you can always remember kind of what the default is if you get too far away from that. Um, but wow. The, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you need I'll... to do for basic. And then, uh, you know, stuff like your tires are here. Tires are presented in a chart, so it's a little easier to keep track of them. But you just tap into one of them and you can choose your enter in your tires. Um, if you're on the premium plan, if you enter more than one value, it'll record all the values that you have, so you can easily switch between like different springs or different tires or whatever. Wow, this I like the the if you wanted to buy the springs or whatever, you can just click and the link comes up there. Yeah, try to make it handy. I mean, we're not making really much of any money off that because mm-hmm. it's pretty pretty small usage, but just mm-hmm. figured it would be handy for people in case they yeah. want it. Very um, handy. Just one tap to make the setup public here. Yeah. There. Yeah. People can find it on the website. They can search for it in the app. Um, now, when, they, when you do make it public, it shows up in this tab when you click on the Find Setups tab. Um, and then you can search for setups for whatever car you want. You know, it'll show you if there's new setups for one of the cars that you have. You can scroll down. You can see like Matthew Gonzalez has uh, six likes on his setup. Of course he does. Of course he does. (laughs) So probably yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I know Darren Johnson is from Australia. (laughs) (laughs) And yeah, when you look at someone else's setup, you can, you can tap into it. You can follow the driver. You can thank them directly. Um, and then you can copy their setup directly into your list. Sure. So the nice sure. thing about that is once you copy it into your list, you can see exactly what the changes are between their setup and yours. So can you send them a message? Not in the app yet. Okay. Not quite. Yeah. Cause I would just send one crime, like a thousand messages in like an hour. <laughs> if I had that, like Matthew Gonzalez, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? And I just keep doing that to him. Yeah, Big we dump. might we might get there later once we get yeah. a new function built in for you. Uh, <laughs> it would be cool though, but then it would turn into a whole messaging service as well. <laughs> yeah, like wow. I've got Maddie G's set up here, and I can look at his and compare it to let's say my base setup, and then you see all the changes are highlighted in red. Mm. So I can tap into the rear suspension and see which which of his which of these settings he has changed. So oh, I know wow. ex- exactly what I need to change to get my setup in line with his. That is very cool. So, very yeah. cool. Yeah, that's that's one of our favorite features. And then uh, the newest thing we've launched actually is the race log. So, let me go back to the 6.2. so 
if you're in the car, you, uh, you can go over to the race log here, and you can just say, I'm going to add a race, tell it which car you're racing, since you can have several in the app. Tell it which setup you want to use for that race, which setup you are, you are using. And then just enter your notes from the race. Just say it was a great race. Class, two-wheel mod, qualifier. I already have two qualifiers in here, so it automatically tells me it's number three. Let's say I finished fourth. And you can enter your lap times. I'll skip that for now, but we'll go ahead and save that. Now here you can see the race log. You tap in, you can see. So here's my two-wheel modified race log for the day. And you can see every race that I was in, and you can see all the changes are automatically mm -hmm. listed here. So I know exactly what changes you made to your setup in between those races. So we list them here in the log. So you can see, oh, oh, we changed the front camber. OK, and then my uh, consistency got better between those races. Awesome. That's bad. Dude, that's pretty badass, man. That would help. I'm the most unorganized person in the world. This would help me so much if I was I, at a race. I, I hope so. Yeah, that that we just launched about a month ago. So we're just trying to kind of get more and more people testing it and letting us know how we can improve it. But, uh, wow. That's that's like my favorite feature. And and it's so gratifying to see this because like mm -hmm. I, I actually had this feature in the original mockups, you know, almost two years ago <laughs> was when I was first mocking this thing up and making diagrams. And uh, now to see it finally fully built and to see the app supporting it well, like it's it's awesome. I just can't wait to see what people get to do with it. Yeah, I think once you get, the, and the, the beautiful thing about this is the more people that use it, the better it gets because it collects so much data. And then you can just uh -huh. compare it to so much different things like, oh, I want to find some dusty track with shale 